Well, in exchange for the plea, Washington has agreed to testify against two other teens in the case, including alleged trigger man Byron McBride. Washington testified in court Monday. McBride used a cell phone to take photos of the dead boy's body. A guilty plea from one of the three teenagers charged in connection with Kingston Frazier's murder. This was a very senseless, a very heinous, needless murder of a six-year-old. There are no winners in this case at all. D. Allen Washington pleaded guilty Monday to one count of accessory after the fact to kidnapping. My client, his mother, his family has asked me to express their deepest, sincerest, sincerest condolences and expressions of grief. Investigators say Kingston Frazier was kidnapped while he slept inside his mom's idling car in the I-55 Kroger parking lot last May. Officers later found the six-year-old boy shot to death. He was left in the back seat of the stolen car, abandoned in Gluckstadt. There are no words to express the amount of grief and amount of suffering that the Frazier family has gone through. Washington's attorney Warren Martin says his client thought suspected trigger man Byron McBride drop the boy off somewhere. They go back to Madison with the understanding that the child had been released. And in fact, the child had not been released. It's only when Mr. McBride is back in the vehicle, they're on 55 heading south, does Mr. McBride produce his phone, which shows photos of a deceased child. Under Washington's plea deal, the 18-year-old agreed to testify against McBride and co-defendant Dwan Wakefield. The Kingston family has lost forever a six-year-old who could have gone on to do wonderful things in life. And prosecutors say Washington's testimony could be crucial in McBride's upcoming trial. They plan to seek the death penalty against McBride.